What is up everybody out there in YouTube land? I have brought with me the Beta FPV Pavo 360, Beta FPV Pavo 3360. Yeah. And the reason it, the plastic is, is already off is because I started the unboxing and my other camera died, which I should have known. I should have had it ready to go and charged, but I didn't. And so I'm going to go through this with you. So. I'll tell you now, the reason I ended up getting this Pavo 360 is because I have this one, okay? Now this is the newbie drone. I know it looks a little funky now because I put the ducks and a little bit of glue and whatever. This is the newbie drone 360 Cinewhoop. This thing is awesome. It fell from like, oh, I don't even know, we were in Sedona, it fell from the tree heights without the bumpers on it and nothing broke. Um, so. It's sturdy. It's good to go. I like it. Um, the battery parts and all that, putting them in is kind of a pain in the butt. But two reasons why I am getting this one. Now, some of you aren't going to like this, but I got the analog version. But wait. The reason I got the analog version is for two reasons. First reason I'm, I want to switch this and try this 361 out is because the DJI in there just gives it more weight gives it more clunkiness I don't fly commercially I don't fly for people or any of that stuff um, don't need to so I notice the weight on there and it and I like to do a lot of uh, acrobatics a lot of kind of I guess you would call it freestyle kind of deals flipping it turning it and with that extra weight on there you can feel it you can actually feel it and so I took that off when pure analog so that way I have a lighter quad that I'm working with a lighter whoop that I'm working with and on top of that, it's going to be like, because I mean, what I do is, let's see, I take this guy out, right? This is this is the non-360 version. This is the Pavo 360. I take this guy out, and I smash and dash, meaning I smash the crap out of it, and then I dash out of the park. But anyways, I smash this thing, and I am able to do... I mean, just a lot of crazy stunts on this. So then I was thinking, I said, you know what? Why not record those crazy stunts in 360? And on top of that, since this is light, I mean, you can just throw this around. Why not just get the bigger brother with the analog? So I know it's not the same weight ratio. I know it's not, but at least it's lighter than having a DJI in there so that's why I went with that with this one you guys because I want to try it out I want the less weight I definitely don't um, mind you know Cinewhoops I guess in a way should be a little bit bulky a little bit heavy because it kind of keeps everything steady stable whatever but for what I'm doing I just come home and watch my videos and play around with them on the app you know what I mean and so for what I'm doing I honestly think that I can get away with just the analog version. So as you open this thing up, you are greeted with Beta's FPV card that they always give you. Yes, 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 yes. Extra spare propellers, blades, whatever you want to call them. And what's really cool and kind of not cool is that it comes with the 3S batteries. But the only thing is, is I can't find 3S batteries other than Beta FPV's website. And they take so long to ship out. Sorry, I don't mean to put anybody on, on Blaster. I got the Crossfire version. So, give me one sec. And this thing looks really cool. I don't I don't know where my scale's at. I would weigh it compared to the other ones. But you can look on the website. It'll tell you exactly how much it weighs. But as you can see, it has the rubber around the ducks um, I guess this is to minimize noise or something like that uh, you have your batteries that come with it that's really cool and I'm glad they do but again I can't find them anywhere and this is where your this is where the the SMO 360 is going to be plugged into and as you flip it over this is what the bottom looks like pretty cool yeah it does have some heft to it but it's but it's definitely not in this range. This range is like, if you ever need to be club somebody to death, you can do it with this thing, with the rubber on. You know what I mean? Because it's heavy. 
I don't know why I said that, but you know what I mean? So check this out though. How freaking cool is that? How cool is that? It looks like a bug. You know what I mean? So I like everything that's going on here. I definitely do. And I know I'm not just saying that because, you know, it's, it's a brand new quad or whatever because I love all my quads. Um, quick little snapshot, ba-boom. But I have more than that. It's not just those. So, yeah, I'm a, uh, I like, I like, you know, drones a little bit. So, anyways, um, yeah, here it is. And let's go over some of the features that it has. Uh okay i guess we're not going to go over features that it has you guys could always look those up actually let's do that hold on real quick okay so again i got the analog version i got the crossfire version so let's go down here and if you look if you want the camera it's a little bit expensive but you know whatever it's it's actually pretty cool i don't get how they say three cell and four cell i think it just takes three cells so i'm not really sure why it says that but if you look here, basically tells you um, both analog and VTX versions. They come with the same motors, the same board, uh, same kind of props. Um, and I like that it's an F7 board. Let's see here. Blah, blah, blah. Small 360. And like I said, I like that. If you guys don't know about these... Uh, these Insta 360 cameras are actually really fun and they're really cool. So, um, Redtail is a great camera choice for both night flights. Wow. Okay. I don't know about that, but we can try it out. Oh, and the landing gear. Good God. That's why I wanted to do this because I would have forgotten some. So, my biggest beef with the newbie drone one is is that there's no landing gear, and I hate it because it and you can't put any foamies on it because like little feet on it because then you end up seeing it in the videos so that's cool so this does have a little oops a little sum right here i don't know if you can manually pull it out but i think that's it yes that's what it is it has freaking landing gear okay so so yeah as you can see it has one little foot that sticks out but it makes all the difference and I had to get another Insta One R because of just that. Like with this thing, when I didn't have a lens protector on it. Oh wait, I did, but it it fell from such a height that I actually still scratched it. There was no way for it to even begin to. When I was gonna land, I'm like, where am I gonna land? Because I need to land somewhere where it's not gonna scratch it, and that's almost impossible on Earth. You know what I mean? Unless you're flying it on carpet or something. So, anyways, uh, yeah, there it is ultra thin and flat frame design i like that i mean i just like everything about it you know what i mean i like it so all right guys well that's that for this and um definitely um gonna fly it i need to charge it love it all that good stuff let me know if you guys have any questions about it uh how i like it all of that stuff now let's see is it a pusher no, it's not a pusher. Okay. That's okay. I don't mind because what happens with pushers is I live in Arizona and I live around a lot of rock and pushers, these tend to, to, to eat rocks and the rocks bend them and break them. Oh, over and over and over. So I'm okay with this. I'm seriously okay with this because if it lands, then it's not going to, you know, land on a rock right away. So, all right, guys. Well, have a nice one. Happy flying. Uh, and uh, have a great day. Later.